Hello everybody and welcome to something new I'm doing again because I got nothing better to do with my life on a what even is today on a Wednesday at 12.02 I got nothing better to do with my life so I figured I would um actually record me playing some of these games because I, I I go and just find random games all the time and play them little short little games because it's fun it gives me something to do and I figured this time I'd go ahead and record it for y'all but yeah this is definitely content you've never seen before never seen anything like this ever so you're welcome welcome to the first game that we're gonna be playing today it's called go to bet random game i found on itch.io i didn't i don't know anything about it literally what i do for these games is i just look at the cover art and if it looks cool or it looks like it might be a, a good game i just download it and then i'll play it so anyways let's get straight into it guys situation one subject a all right i don't know what that means subject a am i subject a Oh, okay, I couldn't move for a minute. Go to bed. Uh, what if I don't want to? Very pixely. Oh, okay, I can leave. The mouse is a little delayed, which is kind of strange. All right. So, oh, okay, there's probably stuff I'm... Okay, I'm going to leave this open and go to bed. And Well, I guess I can't put it back open. There's probably stuff I'm supposed to do in order to like be safe at night. This game kind of seems like... I can't remember what the I can't remember what it's called where it's like you're a you're you're a rabbit and you have a little a little kid and you have to like put things in a certain order that someone breaking in won't find you or like won't get to you in time. Okay, so I've closed the window, locked the door, set the alarm. What else is there? I mean I don't see I can't see any any any, any interaction keys anywhere. Oh, also, I didn't even mention this is first time I'm going to do face cam. It's probably only going to be here for solo videos to make the content a little bit more um, interactive. And I've also, hopefully, this time, commentary will be a little bit better because I know that first solo video I did, it was awful. Trust me, I know. But why I posted that video in the first place is beyond me, but it's out there. So anyway, let's go ahead and I think I think we're good to go to sleep. Because there's, it doesn't really look like there's... Oh. Let's just go to bed. Okay. I'm going to go to bed and see what see what happens. How did I turn that light out from my bed? Did you lock the front door? I did. Mm, see, I was right. Did you close the window? I did. I very much did. Is this like a nightly occurrence that happens? Did you arm the home security? I did. Did you hide the knives? No, I didn't. As a matter of fact, I did not hide the knives. Sick. He cut the alarm. That wouldn't disable it though. The cops would still be on their way, no? Well, anyway, why I'm just sitting here while this person who just broke into his knives. Someone, situation failed and someone got in. Oh, is there going to be multiple situations? Oh, I like this. I like this. Okay, okay. First thing first. Window. Window. Alarm. Front door. Okay, knives. Got to hide the knives. After that, I think that's all. Oh, wait. No? Am I crazy? I thought I saw an interaction key, but I might just be crazy. Okay, I think that's all. Let's go ahead and try this again. So I can't think of anything else that would be out there that he could use. Did you like, yep. What if I say no? Or what if I said yes to the knives? To close the window, I did. Did I alarm... Did you arm the home security? I did. Okay. Did you hide the knives? I did. I, there's probably something else I'm missing, isn't there? Maybe not. Maybe I got it all. Sounds like I got it all. I mean, the cops are here. Well done. No one will get, I mean, someone did get in, but. Guess that's besides the point. 
Okay, situation two, subject A. I think that's what it said. I wasn't looking at the screen. I would think we would try and like block the doors or something if we knew someone was getting in. Is it always gonna be the same stuff? Like it's always gonna be knives, knives, alarm, window, door, knives, alarm, door, window. Oh. I feel like I should lock that. I mean, shit, I don't see anything else. Like, everything looks... Also, why is that TV just sitting on two box? That would definitely break. Those bo those box TVs are heavy. Okay, I think that's all, though. Like, I can't see anything else. I don't see anything else that someone could use, and it may just be the same situation, just different house. Sure. I think. You, uh, yes. Good. Oh. Oh. Huh, where am I? How did I get here? It's kind of... Kind of, kind of freaky. Should I just go straight to bed or no? I'm gonna say no. Oh, I can't see. Hmm. This is uncomfortable. I need to leave now. No shit. Well, okay, what happens if I just go to sleep, though? I'm gonna go to sleep and see what happens. Okay, that... Well, I don't know how I managed to do this, but I broke the game, so... Oh, uh, editor, fast forward. I wonder if I can just go to sleep on this one without doing anything. Uh, I guess we'll see. I mean, I would assume so since this like nothing happened on this level. Are you sure? Yes. Good. Next. Okay. Yeah. Situation three. Subject C. Okay. We're gonna sleep and see what happens. Huh? Where am I? How did I get here? Or I don't know. No, I need to get out of here. Whatever, I guess we'll I guess we'll get out we'll get out of here. Or at least try to again. I'm gonna try and like hug the walls. Okay, so there's what like two bodies on the floor? Can I go through this door or do I have to go through that hallway? I have to go through this hallway. Great. Can't see Jack shit. Okay, there's nothing on that shelf. Useful I guess. Okay, that body's not even wrapped. Here we go. I fucking knew that body was gonna be gone. Oh, this shit sucks. Okay, I'm bracing myself. Normally I don't get scared. I don't- I'm not a bitch. I'm not gonna be scared. I'm just not scared. I'm not gonna be a bitch. I'm not even scared. Like, yeah, I'm not scared at all. Need to find a way out. Oh shit! This is the room I was just in. It's open. I can sneak out. Oh! Because I left it open from the previous night! That's insane. Okay, I wonder. I wonder what happens though if I play through it again and I do close that window at the night. So I'm gonna play through this again. Editor, just fast forward until situation three. Guess we'll see. Huh, where am I? How did I get here? I have to read that shit one more time. I need to leave now. Yeah, we know. I'm on it. Dead body right there. Walk over him, grab key, audio turns off, dead body gone. I run in here, I open the door.
Maybe I should have closed that door behind me. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Okay. This new content. I need to find a way out. Okay, well, windows... It's shut. I should check for an alarm before trying it. It's armed. Maybe I can cut the wires or something. Mm. See, that's funny because... I put those away. What about the front door? No use. It's locked. It, needed. it needs a code. Maybe I'm... There's no way out. Maybe back downstairs. I didn't even check this room yet. Okay. I guess I'll go back downstairs. That doesn't... Why aren't you in bed? Okay. I mean, that kind of got my heart going, but, like, I couldn't do anything about it, so... Anyway, that was go to bed. Um, it was pretty good. Honestly, I liked the variability and how... What you did in the previous night affects the third night there, but, um, on to the next one. Alright everyone, welcome to Teeth of Glass. This is the second game we're going to be playing today, and let's begin. Teeth of Glass. We've got an, an elderly male. Very underweight. Age unknown. Gunshot wound to the chest. Pulse? Question mark? I... Unknown. What do you mean, unknown? I couldn't find it, but he's breathing. That's impossible. It must just be faint. Just get him hooked up to the monitor. We need to operate now. Dr. Hagstrom? Yes? Are you ready to operate? Yes. Preparing to make the first incision. Oh, I don't want why. Ugh. Above the bullet. Okay, I'm not a doctor, guys. Ugh. Oh my god. What are you oh my godding? Where's his blood? Bro, I've never seen anything like it. How is he alive? That's honestly what I'm wondering. Also, another thing I'm wondering is why every time I try and boot up one of these games, it thinks I'm gonna get a virus. Like my computer thinks it's a virus. Anyway, get that bullet out of him first, then well Just get the bullet out. Oh wait, let me sorry, I should read this out loud. I scraped the tweezers along the glassy surface. How could such a thing exist? My priority was the bullet over and above any other condition that was presented, at least for now. All right. Ooh. The inky black blood splashed on my face. I felt both hot and cold and seemed to work its way past my eyes, across my face, into my nose and mouth. And then I fell into darkness. Did I just wake up? Dr. Calridge? Claire Ridge, sorry. Blake, what the hell? Where are you? Is this just point and click? Surgical tools. Yeah, let's pick up a weapon. There's nothing on the tray. Oh, surgical table. I didn't want to wipe down the table until I knew that substance, weighed, until I knew what that substance was. Whiteboard. I had more important things to do than wipe it down. Anesthesia something? There was no need to use the anesthesia cart. Right, let's look at the x-rays. Is it gonna let us actually see them? There was no need to take them down. Okay. Oh, liquid residue. I wasn't going to touch again. It was probably highly toxic. All right, maybe I have to walk more this way. I didn't really understand how the movement mechanic worked in the game yet, but now I do. Surgical cupboard. Cupboard, sorry. I didn't have any reason to go rifling through the cupboard. I mean, there's probably a reason somewhere. Chains. This is the only way out. How the hell did someone chain these doors shut? That means that there's someone still in here. Mmm. Okay. Bloody handprints appeared on the glass of the cupboard. It was a cheap Halloween trick, the kind that Dr. Blake liked to pull, but not at work. Blake. Wherever you are, this isn't funny. People are relying on us. This will cost you your job. The only answer was the in incessant rain. Damn it. I looked at the cupboard. Perhaps I had to look inside and play his stupid game to get out of this. He would be gone by tomorrow if I had anything to do with it. Okay. So, 
basically I'm gonna fire him, but it's not, it's obviously not him. There was something at the back of the shelf. I needed to get the bottles out of the way to get it. Okay, get that one out the way, get that one out the way. What the hell was that? Did I imagine it? Probably not. Bottle with a key inside. Can I just like break it? Um, I guess we'll continue this way. I mean, obviously I should just break that ball. Oh, hello? It was my home, my study. Why was it here? I don't know, this is really strange. Oh, there's a photograph of me and Mary on our wedding day. But what the hell happened to our eyes? Red teardrop gem, that's what I'm wondering. Did I really have to go in those in the same order? All right, well, I got a red tear. Okay, Mary's not very happy that I took her gem. A large leather bound book. To become reborn, you must first recognize your roots, the land that first held you. Secondly, you must breathe in the blue waters that quenched your thirst. Lastly, you must allow the essence of life to flow. Blood be bound. Okay, so I'm... I don't really know what to do. Oh! I guess that's what I do. Moving the cupboard revealed a huge fleshy wound in the wall. I could hear crying from within. Yeah, let's go in it. Oh, sick. We're, we're actually going into it. I hate this gooping it. Like, what is all of this? Fleshy webbing? Oh, hell no. Get, you know, I'm actually... There was no way I was tearing that thick organic mess mass by hand. I needed to think of something else. Maybe the acid? Oh! All right, I need to get out of here before the spider gets here. No, just let me, just let me grab the bear. Oh, he's got a gem on his eye. That I had long ago been lost, but there was something else there now. A red gem lodged in the eye socket. I made my way back out of the hole as quickly as I could. Okay, well, hear me out. No. I was able to carefully remove the jewel without damaging the toy. Freya wouldn't have forgiven me if I had hurt Monty. Okay, so I got the jewel. What does that say? Oh! He's bleeding backwards. No. There was no way I was touching that. Let me go back over to that book. Oh! Who the hell is that? The marionette was almost life-size. It made out of carved wood. I couldn't place- I couldn't place the style. Maybe it was Middle Eastern? Wooden bowl. I can't do anything with it. I mean, you could. Um, the wood was beautifully covered. The surface felt as soft as skin. Hmm. I wonder why. Probably skin. Maybe I gotta put the jewels on the marionette for some reason? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see if there's anywhere to put them on her. Oh, maybe her eyes. Okay, maybe not. Oh, sealed bottle. I managed to lever the wires off and get the key out, but the scalpel broke in the process. You're telling me that uses the key? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. Oh! Oh, maybe I'm supposed to pour something. Oh. And strange to tell, among the east, the earthen lot. Same could articulate while others not. And suddenly, one more impatient cry. Who is the potter, pray, and who is the pot? A small iron key appeared in the bowl as the blood seeped away. Okay. So we got we got a key. We got another key. I think we just need one more. Wait, is there two padlocks or is there three? There's three. Okay. There's, okay, so we gotta do something with this bullet. I think we're done with the marionette. But I don't know what to do with this bullet. Like, 
throwing me off. Oh, if I may have a moment of your time. Yeah? Good evening, good evening. Whatever the time is, it means very little to me. I... Before we get, begin, can I check your name? What? Joshua Hagstrom, yes? Dr. Joshua Hagstrom? Yes. Excellent. Always good to start by knowing who you're talking to. I suggest you ask some questions, young man. I suppose this must be quite shocking. Maybe I would have reacted the same once upon a time. I'm a bit long in the tooth now. Haha, <laughs> what does that mean? Like, I mean, does that just mean you're old? Don't smirk at me. Anyway, ask your question. Oh, I accidentally clicked. Uh, who are you? What are you? I'm sure I did once have a name, but I must have forgotten it long ago. I don't need a name, to be honest. All I am is my role. Your role as what? Scribe, maybe? Historian? Some days I feel like little more than a glorified dictaphone. Ha. Huh. What are you recording? Everything that I see. A story that I am privileged to be witnessing. Yes, call me the witness. That will do. What kind of story? The best kind. Adventure, love, loss, struggle, triumph. A masterpiece. Uh, your skin, your body. How are you alive? I don't know that I am. I exist, that is enough. All I need are my senses to observe, my mind to understand, and my hand to wield the pen. All else is just matter. Free to be lost. What is this place? I suppose the best way to describe it is a holding cell. No. Sorry, I should rephrase that. Maybe an airlock? What? I know, probably a poor analogy. Maybe limbo, purgatory, but I should say, not in a religious sense. From what I have seen, there is no god. Not in the popular sense, anyway. There is power, that is certain. Apologies, I'm rambling. What the fuck is going on? Am I dead? No, no, not at all. Well, not yet, at least. Even so, life is temporary anyway, my friend. From the point of view of, eter of eternity, you may as well be dead. What is, what is that supposed to mean? Stop speaking of fucking riddles. Well, that is a fair point. I do rather like the sound of my own voice. I rarely get to use it nowadays. Who is the man on the table? Oh, he would have what remains of my guts for garters, if I were to say his name. What does that mean? Needless to say, he is the reason that I'm here and the reason you are here. He's watching you. Quite the privilege, honestly. What? What is he? Is he, is he, is he a demon? Ha! <laughs> no, not at all. He's a man, just like you. Well, maybe not exactly like you. There's no one quite like him. Can you help me get out of here? Yes, of course. The destination, though, that is what you need to decide. What do you mean? I will lay it out for you, good doctor. You have always been a conscientious man, diligent in all matters of work, have you not? I, I have. Following in the footsteps of your father, your brothers, you were the youngest to achieve your doctorate. How do you know all of this? You chose those nights away from your wife, from your daughter, to follow your dream. I, I didn't choose, choose. It is always a choice. I am not trying to shame you, doctor. You seek knowledge. You want to better yourself. And by your actions today, you have given yourself the opportunity to see things, places, events, that you have never had the chance otherwise. You can join us, see the unseen, rise up against the etheric bonds that shackle humanity, and break them. Or you can return to your family, to your profession, become a ripple in the ocean of time, lost in a heartbeat. And that is not without meaning, my friend. For every, for every moment of your cosmic that you witness with us, you will miss a moment just as vital for your soul with your wife and your daughter. I... I had a family once too. I was a grandfather. I suggest that you take some time to decide. Come back to me when you are certain of your answer. I will be waiting. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's hard. That's really hard. Because on the one hand, you'll be able to see things that no one else could even fathom. You know, get to know things that no one else would ever know. But on the other hand, I have family. But it doesn't really sound like I'm there for that family anyway, because I'm always working. So it's real back and forth. It's either disappear forever and learn the knowledge of everything, or go back to my family and go back to my job. Yes, knowing everything would be great and amazing, but if you can't do anything with it, is it really worth anything at all? And also, I'm eventually going to end up like this guy, the witness. He, This guy's not living. This doesn't sound like a good time. I'm, I'm going back to my family. I've made my decision. Choosing love. The curious twisted man gave a sigh, a smile moving fleetingly over his withered features. So be it. I took the red gem. It was warm in my hand. I'm assuming I combined this with the bullet, yeah. Completed silver bullet. The symbol on the bullet was glowing. I felt nause I felt nausea rise in my gut as I started at it as I stared at it, sorry. The blood pounding in my ears. And then as the bile rose in my throat. Oh, am I gonna die? A shame. I had hoped that. But then hope means little. And you have earned the right to choose. You saved me, and I was respect to your decision. Remain here. But know this. In your silent evenings, in your choked back confessions, as the shadows of doubt dig their way into your soul. Hagstrom, can you hear me? He's coming round. Contact his wife. Her name's Mary. The contact details are in his file. His teeth. Hagstrom, you're going to do some test. You just passed out. Have you been drinking enough? Will he be okay? I think so. What happened to him? He was operating on... He, he was... Is there a patient on the way? I don't think so. The table is prepped, but there's no one. I remember his teeth. His teeth. His teeth. I will be waiting. All right. Nice little point and click. Nice little point and click like puzzle game. I liked it. It was nice. Had a good ending or a good good choice at the end. I'm not going to go back and play through this to get the other ending. Because I don't really have time for that. So, on to the next game. Alright everyone, welcome to the third and final game of the day. We're going to be playing The Crawler. On the way to camping. We're really far away from the city, in the middle of nowhere. We decide to stop here at the mart to get some snacks and supplies. Then, dot dot dot. Assuming it picks up from here. 12.15 a.m. Alright, we're driving a little bus is what it looks like. A little minivan of some sort. Um, why we decided to stop at this sketchy-ass market is beyond me. What a perfect place for us to stop by after a long ride. Let's see what they're up to. We found a car key. Okay. Let's see talk. Chloe, this, that looks like a car key. Maybe it belongs to one of the cars around here. That's all I had to say? Okay. Tim, if only Emily hadn't driven so slowly, we'd already be at our camp. This is your fault, Emily. Your fault, Emily? Okay, that's not proper English. Can I run? Nope. All right, we're walking. Oh, maybe I should go inside the store, though. I guess not. I guess I'm going over to the car park to see if this key belongs to anyone. Um, why? There's a car over Okay, why am I doing this, though? This is not my problem. Oh. Yes, it worked. Am I just going to rob this person? He found a flashlight. Nice. Some milk. Am I not going to rob them for everything they're worth? Just their flashlight? All right. Why? Why do I need it? Tim, what the fuck are you doing? The music is fire. 
Emily, go get some snacks and cola. I'm waiting. Oh, these are my friends. Oh, I'm Emily. Makes sense. This place looks kind of nice. This snack. Okay. This place does not look kind of nice. As a matter of fact, it looks very fucking sketchy. Oh. Okay, we got some... Some Lay's. Some potato chips. Whoever eats plain potato chips is kind of a maniac, though. I'm not gonna lie. Nothing down that last aisle. Um, I don't see anything down this aisle. Come on, there's gotta be a Coke or something, right? No? Alright, I guess I'll check this aisle. Nothing. More nothing. Oh, some more... L oh, more lol. Lolk Classic, sorry. Didn't mean to get it mistaken for late. Okay, it's pretty chill so far. Oh, I didn't check this in. Nothing. 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 Mm, oh. Some more lolk. Oh, great, I can just go back here. Is there a chicken? Right, I guess I can't take the chicken. I need two more things. Can I take the cake? No. Okay, I can't go into the employee area. Um, I go back here? Oh, shit. That doesn't make sense. What's up? Yeah, it's a fair reaction, honestly. If I were working at a convenience store and someone just walked behind... Walked behind the... What's it called? I don't even... I don't know if I'd be mad. How did I miss something? There's like nothing here. Oh my, am I gonna have to do another lap? Looking at everything? Oh, Coke! Okay, so we're gonna play it like that. I gotta look at the ground. Oh, there it is! I see it! It's hidden. That book in your cashier looks interesting. Maybe I should take it. Take a look at it. Oh, book. Is it over here? It's a piece of cake. What book? What book? Oh, this book. Um. That damn generator behind the shop broken again. O okay. Does bro want me to go fix it? He's making no sign to go and fix it. Why? That's weird. I should go now. Yeah. I'm just gonna rob this place, I guess. Alright. That came from out here, but I'm going anyway. I'm just gonna leave. Don't worry about it. Just leave. Oh, is this a uh, right hand? Nope. Alright. I'm just not allowed to leave. Great. I'm gonna have to go check around the back, aren't I? Like, it's not my job to go do this. Why am I doing- I mean, I guess they are my friends. Great, they're dead. Ooh, a Coke. I- I should tell Chloe about this. Or maybe you should run. But I guess instead I'm gonna continue going to look for Chloe, because obviously- Because obviously the killer out here isn't out here for me, obviously. I'm gonna fix this generator. Oh, yeah, that makes... Why does it push my head into place? Help! Someone help! Shut up, Chloe. Help! Being a little bit annoying, I'm not even gonna lie to you, Chloe. Whiny-ass bitch. Guess I can't go that way towards the red glowing light. Look at Tim there. Look at Tim. Little dumbass. Deadass motherfucker. There was literally just a rat white that scared me. That scared me. Why? Okay. There we go. I was getting stuck on the ground. Fuck is Chloe. This flashlight doesn't do shit. <sighs> or maybe it turned off whenever I turned the generator on. Is Chloe still inside? Like, this is the only place I can think she would be. Why am I having to unlock all the doors? Something bad happened to her. 
Where am I hurrying? Is she in the bathroom back here? I thought I saw someone standing right there. Oh, she is. She so is. The blockade is gone now. Why is there a laundry room in a grocery store? That's a gunshot. Sure, whatever you say. Oh, is she gonna be in the last door that I check? She is. Oh. Chicken's still there? Chicken is still there. Oh, I can go back here now, can't I? Hey, they changed that. Mmm. Can I rob them while I'm over here? No. Mmm. I'm not gonna go in the freezer just yet. So that was, I think that was the bathroom door. Oh shit, someone's in here. I'm gonna go in the freezer. Bedroom? What bedroom? I thought I soft locked myself earlier like I did earlier. Where would there be a bedroom? There's someone in here. There is someone in here. Oh, there's another room back here. <laughs> that was not a damn dog. Another freezer. Why is there two freezers? Is there anything in this one? No? No? Nothing in this one, I guess. Oh, that was... That got me. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, this must have been the bedroom. Yeah, this is the bedroom. Why is there a bedroom? Why, why would she be here, bro? Please tell me why she would be here. No. Dang it. I never should have taken that book from that guy. Every night, I'm plagued by nightmares. It's like that demon-looking dog thing is crawling to me. I shudder to think what would happen if that thing came to life for real. A pencil? Oh, a key. Found a chest key. I'm not gonna go out that exit. That seems like a trap. Seems like a trap waiting to happen, and I'm not falling for that shit. Like, well, why? Why? Okay, I've got so many questions. Why? Why does this grocery store have two freezers in two completely different sections? Why do they have a chest? Why do they have a bedroom? I have so many questions. Exit key. Wait, could I not leave? Did I have to go find the exit? Or I have so many questions. Why is it a chest? Can I leave now? I didn't close that door. I'm gonna close this door. <gasps> Bro, you scared the shit out of me. That guy... Scared the piss out of me. No, I want to see him dying. They're not even near each other. Sick. Oh, hi. Are you holding a knife? Hurry. There's a gun in that room. What room? Oh. Ah. Bang. Bang. I killed him. He's so dead. Wait. Why did that take four shots? Why does he not move? Um, I really feel like I shouldn't go out here. But I don't see any other option. Oh. Yay! The nightmare. All right, it's over. The nightmare ends here. Where's Chloe? Oh. You know what? 
That was, I liked it. It was good. It was good. I can't hate it. I can't hate on it, that's for sure. Honestly, that was pretty good. I liked it a lot, actually. It was really fun. But anyways, guys, thank y'all for watching. Um, I've never asked for this before, but please like, subscribe, like, and subscribe. And comment down below um, again, any game that you want either all of us to play or just me to play or whatever you want. Just let me know any games that you would um, like to see on the channel. And we'll try and do it for you. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Thank you.